Hey there, so the Realtor Association of Sarasota and Manatee County just put out their monthly market update report, and it tells us all about what's happening here in the local market as of June 2024. And I have good news for buyers and some caveats for sellers, but before we begin, uh, just keep in mind that these numbers are always about a month behind. Uh, we have to wait for the uh, current sales to close to get final numbers, but we just got the June report, and let's dive in. All right, according to the uh, Florida Realtors, it looks like we're definitely uh, moving towards a more balanced uh, market, both in Sarasota and Manatee counties for June 2024. Uh, when you look at the numbers, it shows clear signs of balance. Um, there's solid increases in the inventory for both single family and the uh, condo townhome market. Um, we're also seeing, uh, you know, in increases in the amount of price reductions. Uh, it shows that that intense uh, demand that we saw pre-pandemic and uh, during the pandemic is definitely cooling down. Uh, you know, there's more active listings. That means buyers actually have more choices and sellers are just going to need to tweak their strategy in order to keep up with the changing landscape. But, you know, the good news for the buyers is they do have more to look at. Um, that is a welcome change for them. You know, when we take listings, we just advise the sellers to rethink their expectations uh, as competition in the market is heating up. Let's quickly dive into the numbers and then stay tuned because uh, at the end, I'm gonna offer some additional insight uh, based on our website, sarasothomes.com. Uh, I'm gonna look at traffic trends and just kind of give you an idea of what we're saying. It's kind of interesting. In Sarasota County, um, you know, this, the market for the single family homes has experienced a de decline. Um, I would say, I think it was like 692 closed sales. It was about a 10% drop from June 23. Uh, median price fell about five and a half percent, uh, 495,000. Um, overall sales volume declined about 16% over the previous year. So conversely, inventory levels have increased. Um, there's about 3,200 active listings. It was up 65%, I believe, over last year. Uh, and that's resulting in about five months of inventory now. Additionally, um, the median time to contract has lengthened to 50 days, which was like 117% over last year. And the median time to sale increased 32.9%. Now it takes about 93 days to sell your single family home here. Now the townhouse and the condo market in Sarasota County, uh, they've definitely been hit harder. Um, we've seen more declines in demand. Closed sales are down about 25.7% over last year. Uh, the median sales price experienced a slight decrease from about 1.5% uh, to about $384,000. Inventory for the townhomes and condos has surged. It's about 81% higher uh, than it was last year for active listings. And that translates to a supply of about 6.3 months. Uh, the median time to contract is up significantly to about 68%. Uh, it's taken about 59 days uh, to get your condo under contract now. All right, let's talk nationally now. Um, you know, the pace of new home construction sales is something that we look at very closely. And on a national level, it was down 7.4% uh, over last year. And that's the lowest that it's been in quite a bit of time. Um, you know, I think buyers are really kind of holding in a, a holding pattern uh, just based on interest rates or, uh, you know, political environment. There's just a lot of concern. And I think uh, a lot of buyers are just kind of holding back a little bit. So here's a little bit of perspective that you're really not going to find uh, with most realtors. Uh, we are one of the few local resources. Uh, we're able to see specific uh, statistics on buyer interest level uh, in real time, um, you know, before they even plan to start um, setting up showing. So, you know, we can do that because of SarasotaHomes.com. It's one of the largest uh, local real estate websites here in Sarasota. And uh, due to our website traffic analytics, uh, you know, we have the ability to uh, you really check out things, you know, that are happening right now. Uh, you know, our buyer's interest uh, level the same? Uh, is their interest level going up or down? And we can just base that on the number of visits that they make to the website, uh, how often they're showing, uh, saving properties, how often they're setting up showings. Um, so it really kind of gives us some insight, uh, not only uh, what's happening now, but what the sales could most likely be in the next 30 to 60 days from now, because obviously if people stop 
uh, looking at homes now online, chances are sales are going to decrease later. Uh, now, what we're seeing actually is that traffic is very strong. I mean, people are looking, uh, they're saving properties. Uh, but like I said before, there just seem to be holding back a little bit. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be that way uh, for a long period of time. As the buyer, you know, the big caveat to waiting uh, for these outside factors will be the competition levels. I mean, buyers, uh, if they wait for the prices to decrease more, which may or may not happen, uh, or if they wait for interest rates to drop, which, you know, we expect them to do, uh, there's going to be another wave of buyers that are going to hit the market. Uh, and any savings that a buyer might be hoping to achieve by waiting could be washed out by just a whole lot more buyer competition in the market. You know, now is a really good time to buy, especially if you're a home, first time home buyer. Um, you know, there's going to be less competition and that's going to be huge in Sarasota. You know, sellings, sellers are willing to negotiate right now. Um, they're willing to take finance uh, options, you know, financial deals where there's a mortgage involved, uh, you know, the you can always refinance later if you're waiting for the mortgage rates to drop you know just keep in mind it's a lot easier to to refinance that than it is to jump into the market when you're trying to finance and you're going up against a huge percentage of the uh, the buyers out there that are paying cash because in the sarasota market well over 50 percent of the deals that we do are cash deals so that's something that you really need to consider especially if you're planning to finance so for June 2024, um, you know, the slowdown in the Sarasota Manatee County housing market is driven by various factors, including the uh, rising interest rates, uh, economic uncertainty, uh, seasonal influences, uh, market saturation, and just the shifting of buyer preferences. Uh, so although the cooling trend has created more of a balanced market condition right now, uh, it also necessitates that the sellers modify their strategies in order to navigate uh, you know, the changing atmosphere that we have price accordingly and uh, keep your property in tip top shape until it sells. You know, one thing that is for certain is uh, our own Sarasota Homes Group clients. Uh, they can always count on us to be uh, looking at these trends very closely. Um, we're gonna adapt our buyer and seller strategies, whether it depends who we're working with, uh, based on the economic environment at the time. Uh, it's really essential for anyone involved that's looking for properties that your agents on top of things. That sums it up. Uh, if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate a like. Uh, you know, if you want to receive more update videos like this, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell, and we'll make sure that uh, you are notified every time we uh, issue a new video. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.